So these are the sandals before I did my work on them. Um, as you can see at the back, the um, the sole was wearing away. Um, so that was the main reason I wanted to do the job because I um, didn't want any of the cork to wear away. I know that once the cork wears away, it's a little bit more work because you've got to build that back up. Um, the soles were relatively easy to get off. I thought I might need some tools or pliers, um, but actually they were slightly coming away at the front and it was pretty easy just to peel them off. Not a lot of effort was needed there. These are the new soles. I used a glue called Clebfast, which was recommended to me by the cobbler that I bought the, um, the new soles from. He said that I would need to use one tube to do both of the uh, sandals. Um, and it was quite true. I did use the entire tube. Um, I purchased the soles on eBay for a cobbler and the glue was also uh, no actually that was an Amazon purchase um, I bought two tubes just in case but I didn't need to use both so squirted it on and then uh, used an old paintbrush just to get that all over the sole Okay, yeah, sure. After the glue is applied, I put the sandal straight down onto the new sole. Applied a bit of pressure. And then I actually did a little bit more pressure after this. What? I'm not sure that the hammer was absolutely necessary. It was pretty easy to get that really sticky glue um, to stick nicely to the sole of the shoe. So the next step was getting the sole to fit the shape of my shoe. I had thought that was going to be really tricky, but I used a craft knife. The blade wasn't even new um, and it was relatively easy just to go around the edges, make any real effort not to nick the cork or the leather. Um, and that process just took a couple of minutes. Super easy. And there they are. 
they looked a little bit rough um, around the the sides like it wasn't perfectly smooth so I decided to try a little bit of sandpaper um, and see if I could tidy it up slightly I don't think anyone else would notice especially when they're on my feet but um, I feel like This is the finished result. It's not perfect, but it's not bad for um, a first time effort. Um, the soles are lovely and thick now. Um, the glue stuck them on really well. As I showed you earlier in the um, video, I used one tube of Klebfest. Um, this was what the cobbler that I um, bought the souls from recommended um and he felt that one tube would be sufficient to do both shoes um i actually bought two tubes just in case so if i ever have any little bits that are coming away um i'll be able to touch it up but it feels pretty secure um and i'm super pleased with this I mean, as you can see, these um, Birkenstocks are in pretty good nick um, and I expect to be able to get a few more years wear out of these. So I'm really happy. I've saved myself a fortune. Um, the price of getting these resold at my local cobbler and with other stockists I looked at online was going to be £45. Um, the price I paid was uh, £4 for the glue and I paid £14 for two soles. Um, I just got these online from uh, a cobbler on eBay. Um, so yeah, I've saved myself a little fortune and I'm so happy because these are my favourite Birkenstocks. The Maori style is so comfy and um, hopefully... I'll get many, many more walking hours out of these. So, easy to do. I'm not the most um, tech savvy or uh, DIY savvy person in the world. but um, And I didn't even have any special gear. I, um, I didn't really need to sand the edges. They're slightly rough, but I think that will get worn down as I wear them a bit longer. Um, so, all you really need is maybe a little bit of sandpaper. A sharp carving knife and um, obviously the soles and glue and that's it easy peasy and um, yeah go out and do it I saw some other really good hacks for cleaning up your soles so if these get a little more um, grotty as time goes on I'll show you a little video on cleaning those up but that's it um, hope you can get a whole lot more wear out of your Birkenstocks too <laughs>